Welcome back, everyone. Here you're looking at our six players. We have three Americans, two Canadians, and one Englishman. Everyone, welcome back to the game. I'm Leanne Tweeden. Now, you know, the winner tonight is going home with that $50,000 check that I showed you earlier. But more important, they're coming back next week for a chance at the million dollars. Let's reintroduce you to our six players now. In seat one, it's Zach Williamson from Canada. Zach's a self-employed father of two who's always dreamed of becoming a sports broadcaster. Andy tells me his favorite athlete is fellow Canadian Steve Nash. In seat two, we have Dennis Waterman from Arizona. Dennis is married with a daughter and tells me he played poker as a kid, but really picked it up again after the Army. Over to seat three, it's our short stack, Carl Olson from Washington. Carl's been playing poker for the last six years, but professionally for the last two, and says he also enjoys soccer, playing the guitar, and traveling. In seat four, it's Ryan Hall from England. Ryan's a huge soccer fan that started playing poker online three years ago and says he's been hooked ever since. In seat five, we have Jason Phipps from Nebraska. Jason's been married for 12 years and has two kids, and his wife Candace is actually out here in the audience. We saw her earlier. She affectionately calls him Pooh Bear. And in the final seat, it's our chip leader, Clayton Mosden from Canada. Clayton tells me he enjoys playing pool and going bowling with his friends, and he hopes to someday own his own business. Like I said, guys, I'm going to present that $50,000 check to one of those lucky players. Back to you guys. I mean, I'm out of it. Huh? <laughs> Six players began, six players still there, and as you see the blind still just thousands of thousands of blinds have not risen. Even with these small blinds, that man Olsen has already gotten himself a deep hole. In fact, he's the only player by my count to have not won a single chip yet tonight. Maybe you're right. Which is ironic considering that in his qualifying match, he just steamrolled the table. He won more than 30% of the hands he played. I believe that's a correct number, oh, sir. Can I fold now? Clayton <laughs> 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 Mazda, we'll of course, uh, one of the two Canadians so, at the table from Manitoba. He went to Red River College up in Winnipeg. Tried having a regular job, he says, but you know what? Right now, poker is my life. The last job I worked at an insurance company, and I hated it. There was nothing good about it, and it was boring. Monday to Friday job, waking up early. Honestly, after winning last week, I really didn't even feel like I won. I guess I felt bad and I felt lucky. And when I got to heads up, I got ran over by him at first, and then he just got a penalty for swearing at the table. I'm hoping like this week is a lot better if I do when I actually can win with a hand, not a guy getting kicked out. Well, I mean, he's got a really good attitude about it, I think, Michael. Yeah, and in fairness to Clay Mosden, it wasn't he who violated the rules. It was his opponent. But as he says in his interview, he wants to show everybody all around the world that he's got the skills, not just the good fortune to win the dome. I tilted it. Bates for Williamson. I'll raise it to four. Seat one raises to four thousand. Pass it. Seat two folds. Fold. Seat three folds. Fitz tried to get in there again. cheap with a uh, mediocre hand, in. and Williamson I punched him. Ace crack. Put that pair of eights. Neither guy connects on this flop. I predict Waterman will win the pot. Well, there's four spades now for Waterman, too. So that proves his lot a little bit. And with two over cards, he's going to bet with impunity. 9,000. Seat two bets 9,000. Now, I think it's an easy fall for Williamson. That's fine. Well, Dennis Waterman from Sedona, Arizona, went to Oregon State. He's a beaver. 
Been playing this game for 40 years now, and he really knows how to keep his cool. My philosophy of life is to not get too excited when I win and not get too down when I lose, and to be on an even keel as much as possible. I think experience makes a vast amount of difference. You know, God and karma have something to do with it, but uh, in terms of my own ability, yes, I feel confident. I feel like I'm going to play well. I know I will play well. And there is his mom, Lavona, and his sister, Linda. Cheer him on. And I guarantee you, their heart rate is higher than Dennis's right now. It is very cool. It's, I think it's tougher to be a loved one rooting for a competitor in the Dome than actually playing. You know, you just feel so helpless watching your spouse or son or brother do his thing in there. And you are absolutely helpless. Well, the Lions have risen to 2,000, 2,000, so it's a little more costly. I am. I'm a nice guy. Six ace, four. Oh, yeah. Got shot check. straight draw for Fibs. Oh, and he got it. I didn't like that. I'll check again. Oh, I said one time. Down. I'll tell you, it's a very solid play here. No question about it.